Hey everyone, welcome to another edition of Star Shadow Plays. I'm just Rob, aka Star Shadow. We're continuing our San Marino challenge here. Uh, for those that don't know, the San Marino challenge is to take the tiny microstate of San Marino, which is the bottom team, or close to one of the bottom teams in the FIFA rankings, and take them all the way to number one in the world simultaneously. And in order to help achieve that, we have to take a club based in San Marino all the way to Champions League Glory. As for this, uh, to, for this challenge, we changed it up a little bit here because uh, just kind of wanted to see if it's actually even possible. So we're uh, working with a club uh, that went defunct in, basically in 2019, I believe it is. We took over the club, injected a ton of money into it. Uh, to see if uh, we can even do this, if it's even even possible. It's kind of skipping a lot of the steps that you would have to do in order to uh, to really have a chance at this, like maxing out your youth intake and all of that kind of stuff. Uh, so we are in the sixth season, our second in Serie A, as we started in uh, the fourth division in Serie D. Uh, and are working our way up now. So in our second season, sorry, uh, we uh, have pushed ourselves into sixth. Uh, we are. Uh, uh, we just played. Uh, let's look at schedule here. We go. Uh, we just played Hellas Verona. Uh, drew them away. It's kind of a couple points dropped there because they're re relegation candidates. Uh, and we are. We are projected to finish 14th. I suspect we'll finish at least top 10 and right now we're playing pretty well so we started out like gangbusters here we picked up 10 points in our first four I had to enjoy this 2-1 winner in Bologna and a pretty good draw there against Atalanta and of course the 4-0 away at Sassuolo is really good too but we were uh, quickly brought back, brought back down to earth with a couple of losses to Inter and Roma who are of course European contenders European playing clubs uh we're trying to break into that not sure if we can actually do that but uh you know we're trying we're trying so we follow, follow that up with a couple wins and like i said we just had this draw we'll play another bottom team here versus uh intella uh next uh we'll obviously with the uh the new update format we're not going to do that we're trying to do some short stuff just kind of updating things so that's the schedule update there uh, so, oh, one thing I did not mention in the last, uh, the original season opening episode is that we are actually not playing in our stadium right now, uh, facilities. Uh, we are actually playing in uh, Casena's, uh, Casena Stadium, or I guess it's uh, Casena uh, Stadium, uh, the Oregel stadium uh it's a 20 uh, there it is almost 21,000 20,000 all-seater our stadium is being upgraded we're getting an expansion of uh, a couple thousand seats as we sold out every match uh last season in our first it's only well, it's only 5,000 uh seat stadium so now it's going to be up to 8,000 at i guess it's 550 uh but it's going to be 8,000 uh, seat capacity. I was, kind of, was kind of surprised that they went for the expansion and not for just building a stadium. But I guess uh, we want to see if we're going to stick in Serie A, which we definitely will. Uh, we're a good, pretty good team, even though we're super young. But uh, that will finish up uh, in the latter half of the season. We should have a couple matches there to open it, to reopen it and be ready. So we're excited about that, uh, playing, like I said, we're playing in a big stadium, so we're not selling stuff out, but we are, we did hit 10,000 against Inter, so that's pretty good ticket sales there. For us, especially, we never really made much money there. Uh, so, uh, let's go back here. Alright, so here we go. We are number four in goal, or number two in goals allowed, which is one of the reasons that we are sitting as high as we are right now. Uh, only scored 12 goals though, which is middling. Uh, had him in a little bit of trouble here or there, but 
Uh, not too bad though. We'll 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 work it out here a little bit. Uh, strikers kept kind of kind of the whole team kind of right now is inconsistent. Uh, we're trying to find some hot players. We had like I said, we had a little bit of a hot streak to start with, and now we're working on that, trying to get teams back into it, or the players back into it, but not quite where we want to be. Um, Victor Michelle's got five goals for us so far. He's our leading goal scorer. Uh, Your Campbell's got two. Mario Medina got one. Been playing up top instead of in the, the midfield. You can see who we brought in against. Um, excuse me. Uh, against our, our Hellas Verona here. Kind of playing uh, some of the backups here. But. Uh, yeah, Victor Luis was playing super well, so that's why he was getting a, a start here. Uh, so we've been very uh, pleased with what we're getting out of Victor Luis so far. Been pretty good here. You can see good, good high rating, 7.3. Um, in relief of Mancini. He's also playing very well. Obviously, our, our left to wing back here has been pretty key to us uh, playing well here. Uh, then we need, uh, let's see, we still have uh, Lim Reed who uh, wants a contract. We want to give him a contract, but he keeps, in, this agent keeps insisting on trying to put in a release clause and not even like a release clause that makes sense. It's like for like 5 million and he's way more important to us than that. Even though he's only for some reason value at 700,000. I mean, he's been good to assist uh, so far this season. How many did he have last year? Five goals, seven assists last year. I mean, that's not someone who's worth that little. So it's it's really weird that they're that the value is so low, and that you want such a small release clause. But uh, but yeah, so we're working with that. Uh, we're still trying to bet in uh, uh, Jonas Schulz here, the Austrian. Still trying to find uh, find that spot for him. Uh, he has not quite bedded in, so he's not playing well yet, and doing some improving, but not yet. But uh, we finding this to happen, it takes a half a season, season before some of the new players really get in. So I'm not too worried yet, but uh, it's not helping our cause here. He hasn't played that much yet. Uh, our new captain is uh, Sebastian Hara. You can see he's been on the improving again. He's uh, actually been going back and forth here between hardworking midfielder and a couple other things, including Wonder Kid. So he's right on the edge of being a Wonder Kid again. Uh, hopefully, by the time of the next update, he will have that permanently, or at least for the next year, year or two here. So that'd be perfect. Um, let's see what else we got. Trying to think of what else we what I was gonna talk about, but I forgot. <laughs> but yeah, well, we've had a couple injuries here. Uh Jimmy Lehane, who has been our best defensive midi, went down to a twisted ankle for uh they were four to six weeks is what they were predicting, but he's starting to come back a little bit, so maybe we won't miss him too many times, but we're in the middle of the the congested period, so he's missing a bunch of matches for us. Uh, Nic uh, Nicolo uh, Gaultieri also went down to uh, sprain knee ligaments for I think that was three to four week injury so obviously he's missing a lot of time uh, and starting to drop a little bit and he we could have really used him here we've been looking for someone who can actually uh, attack down the right a little bit more Luigi has not been the best there that actually been playing that well which is kind of surprising so we could have used uh, some injected some of his pace and uh, offense ability there a few times. Let's see, Alvarez is a six point eight. Not too bad. But I mean, he's good decision making. Everything it's just it should be better than what he is showing. I think is the the big thing. But uh, he's still got a way to go. We can still see him improving. Uh, so we're working on it. Uh, Sosa is... We're still working on and the physical ability. Obviously, we're not going to get much done in a couple months, but... Uh, 
you know, it's going that way. So we're hoping that he can actually be able to take advantage of some of this great stuff he has. I don't think he will ever play center back for us. He might. There's a chance, maybe. But uh, definitely got to work on this a little bit. So we'll give him a little run out in defensive midfield to see, see how it goes. Not too bad. Not too bad. Uh, and just see. Okay, so uh, I guess so. W what we're finding this season is uh, we have a lot of talent. What we don't have is a standout central defender. So I think during the winter transfer window, that's what we might be looking for. Uh, Hassani is kind of falling off a little bit here. I mean, he's been our best defender for the past few years since we brought him in, but. Uh, kind of not played well the past little bit here so we're starting to wonder what's going on here uh michael has a uh, mcgall has I swear i can say it at some point i'll figure it out but he's going to be a pretty important one for us he's not quite ready yet but he is like to be the star guy but he is definitely got the talent to to be the man for us in the middle, but we need someone else right now. So I think, like I said, we're gonna look for see if we can find someone who can really just step in for this. Uh, Berta's actually done a great job of stepping up after the kind of a disastrous first, first season with us. Uh, his potential is not as high as we thought it was gonna be when we brought him in, but he's starting to play a lot better now that he's bedded in. So I'm really happy about that. Uh, Ferrofino had a couple of good matches for us, uh, so maybe he's starting to turn around a little bit. Uh, he's definitely technically probably our best defender with a good marking and uh, tackling. Uh, the positioning is not the best, but he's got good anticipation, so we are starting to sprinkle him in more, and that's been good. Uh, Gutierrez has been having to play on the right now. Uh, he's played some still in the middle, so uh, we're still working on it, but he's also the potential is not quite as good. So uh, he is not going to be the person to be the man, but he's definitely going to be sprinkled in centrally with the good decision making that he has. Uh, but yeah, so far, uh, just that's I think that's what we're meaning. We needing we've taken the big step of buying you know, a star goalkeeper here. So this is. Uh, he's been really good for us, and I, this is a the kind of player that wins wins big for us. That that can lead us to glory here. So we're really happy about how he's shown up, and he's still improving, obviously. So uh, he's been good. The interesting thing for that we saw is uh, if we go to history. Um, our starting keeper last year, uh, Shinton, Nick Shinton, there he is. Uh, I went to Bayern. He's actually playing quite a bit. He's in kind of a a, a rotation with uh, the other keeper there, which I think is kind of interesting. Cause I, like he's a solid keeper, just I don't think he's that good. I mean, mentally he's pretty solid, but there's a good decision making and stuff like that. But uh, uh, his technical goalkeeping is not that great. So, uh, but yeah, he's, I'm really proud of him that he's, uh, made the step up to a big, such a big club and is playing well, good enough to get some starts there. So very happy to see when one of our players, uh, makes the, the big step. Now we got to wait and see what will happen with, uh, any of our youth intake players, see how they blow up. Uh, we do have one out actually. Who is actually actually is blowing up actually? Uh, that goes that. I'll fix that in a second. Uh, back, trying to go forward here. Uh, but uh, Nicholas Molandini, Nicola Molandini, Nicholas. I don't know how I'm saying it. Uh, obviously is destroying the Greek league as you would expect, seeing as he's super good. I'd love to have him. He would be definitely he would definitely be challenging for Europe if he was still here. But, um, yeah, look at his high rating, 7.5. He was at 8 for a little bit in Greek League, so he's at 7.91 here. So, uh, pretty crazy. But, yeah, I mean, 
definitely one of the best players. Definitely the best player that's come out of our youth intake so far. Uh, so it's kind of really bittersweet to see him uh, really succeeding for someone else instead of us. Uh, but what can you do? You know what I mean? All right, so looking ahead, uh, we have... We're still in uh, the busy season here as October, November historically are for Italian leagues. So like I said, we have uh, Vertizantello, which we should be looking to take three from. Then we have uh, Napoli. That will be a tough one. See if we can really make a, a play for Europe by getting something out of this away. And then we got a tough draw in the cup with Fiorentina, who is basically... Uh, Challenging for about what we are in Serie A, so uh, the first <laughs> drawing a top division team for in the cup is never a fun thing. But maybe a double field a weekend team, so we'll see if they're feeling a weekend team. Because I'm probably going to as well because it's the cup. But uh, if we are able to get through this, the fourth round is a lower division team, either it could be second or third division. So uh, we could get into the fifth round uh, if we can get through this but it's gonna be close and after that then we have Cagliari, Sampdoria, Fiorentina who are like I said all could be mid-table teams so this is gonna be a, a rough at November we have to see if we can survive this I think uh, they'll look good December not looking much better oh, Pescara was just uh, promoted but then we got European teams here these are like the top three the top four teams I guess Lazio uh, Milan Juventus but then we follow that with a January where we we should be able to take points again kind of looks pretty similar to what our opening stretch was so that's on the on the horizon for us we'll see how that goes um, yeah so we're gonna like so we can keep an eye out for center defender we're gonna be scouting for one uh, to bring in during the um, winter transfer window, we got 33 million to spend. Uh, I did uh, some payroll budget uh, maneuvering since we had a huge payroll bu payroll budget. So we will look to do that. There's not really too much uh, available. Let's see. Ability uh, center backs. But just do a quick little look. Uh, Scorano. This would be the top one that's available. He's a Crotone, which means he'd be super expensive because I'm not going to want to sell him. Uh, he's pretty good. Not bad. Uh, other than that, uh, there's nothing. No one that would just, I don't think, step in. Sadio Benevento, maybe. Uh, but we we were looking really looking for a superstar. Uh, you know, Papa was one we were looking at. Uh, again, not a superstar, which is what we need. So none of those would make sense for us uh, currently, unless they blow up in the meantime. So we'll keep an eye out, like I said. And when we come back uh, for the next one, hopefully we'll be into the winter transfer window and we can kind of see what's going on. So. Uh, Thank you all for hanging out a little bit and checking out what we're up to. Um, let me know what you think of the new format here, whether we should add some more stuff or, or what. Um, but yeah, so this is going to be the uh, foreseeable features we kind of push forward and try to get it going a little bit more. Um, but uh, yeah, so we are working at it. We are working at it. We've got to push a little bit faster. We want to get in into it a little bit. i got to look into taking over the national team as well so we can start working on that part and we have talent coming uh so that'll be good to 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 really push forward if we can so so thank y'all for hanging out checking us out a little bit and watching the update uh if you're uh enjoying the content here then of course drop a like comment subscribe share all that good stuff here uh Really appreciate that and we'll have a link to our twitch and our twitter in the description so that you can get to twitch where we play a bunch of different games you can kind of see some of the stuff here on the youtube where the kind of games that we play we'll be adding more stuff 
to go and of course twitter at streams by star if you want like to uh check that out and uh yeah that's it here so uh thanks thanks for stopping by stay safe out there stay well and i will see you all next time